Okay, so I am going to do just a skincare routine that I'm doing right now for my face. And um, at night, I wash my face and I am using Jason's Vitamin E. And I put about a quarter size amount all over my face. And I let it soak in uh, for about two to five minutes, depending on... Um, if my face is oily but it absorbs pretty well so that's what I do at night right now in the mornings I wash my face again and I am using it's rose uh, like a rose and herbs spray I put this on I let it dry and I've been using uh, Paracomb MD I got this free from Influencer to review, and I do love the product. And use just a dab on ring finger. Always be gentle around the eyes. But I always put it under. It's very, very hydrating. And I can definitely tell a difference since I started using it. And then I put a dab on my eyelid. Just gently rub that in. And I feel like since I've been using this on my eyes, that my makeup has been lasting longer on my eyes without it um, creasing or anything. So I let all that dry. And then I've been using the Olay 7 in 1. This stuff spreads very well, so just one little dollop. And I've had no issues with makeup caking or anything by putting these products under the makeup. I've had tried some products that I had issues with the finish of my foundation. It looked cakey. So you let all that dry, and then I put another four or five sprays on my face of herbs and rose water, and it smells so good. And I let that dry. And obviously I have freckles. I'm not trying to, I've tried to just kind of embrace the fact that I have freckles. Um, the older I've gotten. But they're always, they're, they're thicker right through here on the sides of my face for whatever reason. All right, that's dry. And then uh, the new primer I've been using, and I'm gonna talk about a uh, some product overhaul uh, that I, or a product haul that um, I went to for the first time ever, I went to uh, Ulta and I got a few new products. That place is very overwhelming and the perfume and cologne is just too much in that store. But um, it's uh, Revlon Photo Ready. Uh, there we go. And it's kind of like a rose pink primer but it's a matte and I love the way this minimizes the um, the pores. It puts a very soft, smooth texture to your face. So if you struggle with any issues of pores, and as the older you get, I've noticed, it feels like enlarged pores, and I'm very regiment about playing in my face. But this just leaves a very smooth, silky finish and it does minimize uh, pores. So this one, again, Revlon Photo Ready Primer. It's a pore reducing primer, but this works really, really good. I used to use the Porefection um, product and I've also used, um, oh, where's it at? 
also use the hard candy primer in that um, the Revlon works 10 times better. So that's just the basic products I'm using right now and once a week um, for my hair and I don't have, my hair is buzz cut. I'm at an eighth inch all around the sides and the back but I'm letting this top layer grow. So once a week I put um, this product on my hair. It's Main Magic. It's a 10 in 1 primer. And I put it on while it's wet and because I have short hair I just use probably probably five six sprays and I really do love the product um, it smells amazing and it's not I feel like it's conditioned my hair a little bit especially after I color my hair um, normally I just do my roots but I will put it on the ends of my hair and it kind of feels like it's putting additional moisture in it um, it does feel like it's stronger and it, the it feels like baby's hair so as much as long as I've been coloring my hair that's a good product um, if you're looking to try something new as a primer for your hair. I feel like it's helped me with conditioning, uh, strengthening. It does add some shine, and I feel like it helps with the texture of, of your hair. Um, and I just really like the product. Um, and that was also given to me by Influencer to try a couple months ago. And I've had this bottle probably three or four months, probably three, three and a half months. And you can still see. I'm just right here and that's a sample bottle so all right I think that's the products I've I wanted to talk about right now and I've got a, like I said I have a um, about six products I've just purchased um, and I want to go over those because I am in love with a couple of them so we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching have a great day